Then we have the next question, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, doctor. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have a question concerning our own syllabus. Which one, in your opinion, is better? Study Al Quran before conventional knowledge, or vice versa, or both at the same time, which is integrated. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, should we learn Quran? Can you repeat the question a bit loudly? Which one is better? Study Al Quran before conventional knowledge, or vice versa, or both at the same time, which is integrated? The student asked a very good question that should we, Quran, should we study Quran first and then conventional knowledge education or the vice versa or both? As I mentioned in my speech that the education you gain should get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best is to study both but study in a way that both will take you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So study Quran and the Islamic knowledge simultaneously with the knowledge of the dunya. But the knowledge of the dunya that you acquire should get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you learn science and technology and history and geography and it starts teaching you, okay, so and so person is great and the historical figures or oh, this president and that president, this is useless. So when you study the conventional knowledge, the conventional knowledge, it should get you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you study this, today, the media is powerful. If you study conventional, you see, the blood circulation was, if normal books say, it was discovered by William Harvey. When we did in school, that William Harvey was the first person to discover the blood circulation. Actually, it was Ibn Nafis, 400 years before William Harvey, who first described the blood circulation, which is mentioned in the Quran 600 years before, before Ibn Nafis. So if you go to conventional school, they will start praising the Westerners, etc. In fact, from 8th to the 12th centuries, when the Europeans called it the Dark Ages, Muslims were on top of the world. So when you study the conventional studies, don't study conventional study which is distorted. Study that which is the truth. So along with the Islamic studies and the Quran, you should start the conventional knowledge study so that you understand your deen better and you can explain to others. Because if you only study the Quran without having worldly knowledge, it is good. But the best is having both the education of both the world so that you can be a better dai. If you know only your sharia without knowing the other aspect, it's good, it's not bad. It's better than knowing only the convention. But the best is to know both and to correlate it and spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I hope that answers the question. Allah, I'm in need. Help me Allah, what am I going to do? I've got a flight to catch and I need to return home. And so it was the time of Jumu'ah and the Adhan went. And mashallah, there was a masjid in the border post. And so I went and making dua to Allah and I sat down. And the Imam spoke about, now this is called the help of Allah. Not from me, nothing at all. The Imam was speaking about helping people in desperation. Helping people in need and how Allah will assist you if you assist someone who's desperate, who's in need. And guess what? There was a man next to me who greeted me. And I greeted him back. And then I greeted him immediately after the talk. And I, I nodded my head, smiled at him and so on. And we started our salah. We were standing in the saf, straightening, you know, the, the feet. And I started my salah and I ended. And when I finished, 